Thank you. Uh, good evening to everyone. Um, yeah, obviously, really pleased with the performance again uh, and the result. I think, obviously, we had a really good start to the match. Um, you know, that was the idea and plan that uh, we just need to really start with the energy that we have and we like to play with. Uh, and fortunately, we were able to get the early sort of advantage. Um, and then, yeah, I felt that uh, we dominated uh, the majority of the match, especially the rest of the first half after the two goals. Uh, I think we didn't concede a shot on target. I think they may have only had one corner. Um, we're a little bit unlucky maybe to press on with advantage uh, and get maybe a third, second half. I think they came out a little bit better, a little bit more sort of uh, keeping the ball and maybe we just... Uh, sat back a little bit too much or when we had possession we just maybe gave it back too easily but in saying that uh, we probably created some really big chances in second half uh, I don't know it looked like a penalty to me with uh, Mojella in the box and then obviously Jabbar getting in behind wasn't able to finish Ashley had just come on when he had the big chance uh, Devon got in behind <coughs> Titus and a little bit unlucky not to find a, a teammate inside the box so we created enough chances to have Got the third and, and then really uh, would have been big pressure on, 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 on AS Vita with a return leg. So a little bit disappointed that we weren't able to get the third and maybe even the fourth after uh, a dominant performance. So, um, But yeah, to keep a clean sheet, um, I think was key because obviously going away now means that, uh, you know, just a single goal. Uh, when we go that side, would put them sort of in a position where they would have to score four. Um, so that is good for us, but by no means is the tie over. I think we all know it's going to be tough uh, in Congo when we go there. Uh, intimidating environment, so um, we've got to take this win, um, concentrate on the upcoming midweek match against Arrows, and then uh, once we've come through those two games, just see where we're at. Uh, just look at, you know, with the, the health of the squad and then uh, determine and how we approach uh, the next leg. But, yeah, very pleased once again. Um, six win on the trot, five clean sheets in a row. So uh, a good start to our season. Um, it's just now obviously continuing and maintaining that level. Thank you, Coach. We'll take questions from the floor. We can start by introducing ourselves. Uh, Coach, um, you lose uh, five stops in the full offense. Yeah, I think, um, you know, the reason why we liked uh, Mojello, not only just this window, but, you know, we recognize his abilities when, whenever we played Galaxy, and I think just the way he, just his energy, the way he presses forward, the way he presses back, his, his willingness to run in behind, his willingness to, you know, take um, um, sort of a lot of pressure off the other players and creating pressure on the opposition. Um, and we knew that he's a decent finisher. Um, he's got goals in him, so... Um, you know, besides obviously the three goals that he scored now uh, in our preseason friendlies, I think he won us four penalties. Um, so he's a constant menace, a constant player that's just, you know, defenders can't really have any time or be relaxed uh, on the ball because he's going to be on top of them. And that's the sort of energy and the type of player that I think just suits the way we play and the way we want to play. So he's fitted in like a glove and, you know, also important that he's really a good a good uh, character you know always smiling always happy always joking you know you can see that he's just uh, loving what he's doing and um, coming off a good season last season it's just continued so um yeah we're very pleased with uh, what he's brought to the table coach uh, obviously happy with the way things are going on the attack you must be very pleased with the defense effort. i mean i know they came out strong in the second half but i think sage had won Real save to me. Yes, um, it has been good. Um, you know, I think if you look at our defence, um, Sage is probably in the form of his life over the last couple of months. I mean, he's last season in the league, he won us uh, a lot of points. He started the season really well. I think his performances in the two-legged games against Sundown showed his level. Obviously, Fawaz is a quality footballer, player. Obviously, he's been rewarded. Um, you know, Toure, I think, my opinion is the best centre back in the country um, by a long mile. So, you know, to see him and have him in these type of games, one could see 
the presence that he has and the quality that he has. Um, and obviously, Moleswani is a really good player. At this, of course, Mkabe is a good player. They've been in and around the Bufana squad, Kasafa. So it's not by sort of luck that uh, we are sort of defensively as solid. We have good quality defenders. Um, and obviously, a player like Sishle Induli as a six, you know, he does a lot of hard work, breaks down a lot of attacks. So, um, yeah, I'm very proud of the way we're defending um, because I think if you defend well, it creates attacking platform. Um, and if you attack well, it also helps you defensively. So currently it's going really well on both sides of the pitch with and without the ball. Um, and again, it's I think the belief and the confidence in the team is also growing. Um, you know, to have come past sundowns the way we did, I think just gave the team that belief um, and confidence that, that we are playing with. And what are you going to do on the right-hand side now? Um, we, look, uh, we have signed a, a Nigerian right back, um, Kazi, Godwill Kazi. Um, it seems like his visa will be received now early in the week coming. Um, and then he's got to get you, firstly. Um, and then obviously the work permit process will start. So we don't see him being available at least for the next four to six weeks. Um, in between, obviously, we've had contingency plans. We've signed Shakir Ahmed from our Dusky team. He's unfortunately carrying a quad strain. Um, so it has been a bit of a difficult uh, position for us to fill in since Dino's left. But yes, we have signed. Um, uh, and we're just waiting for him to come. But in between, we're just going to have to manage the situation. And so we've got Tabu and uh, Carl Tylen Smith, the youngster from our DDC, can also fill in. So it is a bit of a headache for us currently, but I'm trusting and hoping that uh, it won't be for too long. Coach, last season when you played Sundowns in the Sailors of the Northern Cup in Stormbridge, you said that you were learning so much from them because they're a team that competes in those spaces often. Yes. You've played them twice, you've played them twice now. You're here today. Um, just looking at what you've learned along along those lines and what what can you pinpoint, what can you identify that your team has has really uh, picked up from those lessons? Yeah, I think it was always, um, you know, looking at Sundowns when we, when we have played them, I've told the players that, you know, they are the best team in the country, they're one of the best teams on the continent, so if we want to close the gap, we have to learn quickly and learn certain little tricks of the trade, which I think they've picked up over the years playing in, in Africa. If you see Sundowns, there's a lot of tactical fouling. You know, any counter-attack, they, they're not afraid to take the foul and slow the momentum of the game. They know how to manage games, uh, when to slow games down, when to just take the sting out of games. So those are the type of things that they've, I think, become really good at. Uh, and when we played them, we sort of felt the way they sort of slowed the momentum down. Every time there was a transition, they would either foul Titus or they would foul uh, whoever's on. So those are the type of things, managing the game. Plus, when you play against a, a team like Vita, you could see, I don't know, the keeper must have gone down six, seven times uh, in the first 20, 25 minutes. So those are oh, things that... Sort of yeah, I also felt so. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, those are the things that, um, you know, we're going to have to maybe apply one or two of those uh, in a week's time. Uh, depending on how the game's going and the scoreline, we may be the ones that have to sort of manage the game and and that. So those are those are some of the things that uh, we've learned. And it's the exciting part is it's such young players that are learning this at, in their young twenties. So you know, if it just continues to go well, they are going to have really good careers now, getting this experience that they are gaining in these type of matches. <coughs> Uh, he felt tight, um, the hamstring, so it didn't pull, but it, it was starting to, to, to feel sort of that. So hence, we had to make the change, um, and that's, I think, going to be our challenge going forward. It's, it's you know, we're playing Wednesday, but um, I, I think, you know, in players like Sanele, players like Ashley Cupido, uh, Janino Palace, who didn't start today, you know, Carl Jurgens, Brian and Yongo, we have, we have, now we have the ability to, to I believe that, you know, players can come in and, and keep the level uh, that we needed to be at. So it's going to be management of, of players. Um, and yeah, hopefully everybody, when given the opportunity, 
uh, will continue to to grab those opportunities and continue to add uh, the the right value. Last question from Rob and then Okay, not not on the score sheet today for either of them, but huge games from Devon and Ibrahim. Yeah, I don't know that Ibrahim today. Oh, so much energy. He's pressing from the blind side, winning little you know touches to to just break down attacks. And it, he was just unmarkable when he just made those deep runs in behind. So, um, you know, he's matured also since coming back. He's just added a little bit more to his game with the ball. Um, but his energy off and out of possession is just uh, was really superb. So when you have him, you have Mugella who presses. You have Devon who can really press well. You know, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's part of the success that I think we're having in terms of just not allowing teams too much time and space on the ball. Uh, Coach, we've heard about the beta team arriving at 4 o'clock in the morning. Um, how does Stanley schedule look for next week? Yeah, it's also not easy. We uh, we are going to fly out Friday um, to Joburg. Um, and then we're flying from Joburg to arrive at midnight on Friday. And uh, we'll probably get to the hotel similar time that they got, but we have the extra day. So Saturday will just hopefully be a bit of uh, recover, recuperate, um, have a training session at the field the Saturday afternoon, and then play the Sunday. And the other alternative was to arrive late Saturday afternoon and not train at the pitch. So we, we just we went with the first option to try and get there a bit earlier, but yeah, it's going to be a learning curve for us. Um, Rather jet as well. Yeah, maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> and sorry, Steve, were, were, you, were you a little bit surprised about how poor they were? And also, can you see on a night like this the value of competing in Africa? I mean, just the, the competition different way they play. Your players are not being exposed a lot to their kind of physicality and trickery and all that yeah. kind of stuff. It's, do you see the value in this? And then were you a little surprised that the beta are not, they're not very good? Yeah. No, no. I, look, obviously I expected, you know, they are a big team and they still remain sort of that. But, you know, there were sort of situations where we just got into their sort of half, got in behind them a, a lot, created a lot of chances. So I was quite surprised in terms of of how easily we were able to create chances. Um, and then, yeah, it just, it just seemed like things weren't totally in sync with the, with the, with the squad. Maybe, uh, hence the reason, maybe the coach has resigned. But um, I think we can expect a backlash. Um, but, I'd, yeah, I don't want to say things that comes back and bites me. Um, but it didn't look like they were really creating too many clear-cut opportunities. So, you know, hopefully we we can defend as well as we've done uh, away. And I think if we do that well, we will also get our chances again. Just on the value of... Yes. No, I think it's uh, it's massive. Um, uh, you know, I told the players that even the analysis for this team was difficult because they're not playing in the league, but it was exciting. It's like it's a good feel to, to experience something different, go into a game. You know, hey, players, first 10 minutes, you're going to have to quickly... You're not playing against Saleng, who you play against often that you know what he's going to do. You're going to have to figure out left foot, right foot, quick, not quick. What's his strengths? How do they play? Um, so yeah, that, that, was, that was great. And um, we felt that defensively set pieces would be tough because of the size. So, you know, having to cope with them, I think allows us going into the league to hopefully take this experience that we're gaining also into that. So I just think it's a really massive learning curve, probably more learning off the field than on the field, to be honest, but uh, that's also good for us. Thank you, everyone.